Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. This is going to be the last video of Dragonflight and I'm very excited to just basically just talk to you all and tell you why I will be playing Mistweaver or if you should play Mistweaver going into the War Within. I know this is a time of year or time of when WoW comes out where a lot of people are questioning what main they should play and if they should play healer, DPS, melee, all this stuff. So I would just thought I would put something together for every different part of WoW and tell you if you should or shouldn't or some strengths and weaknesses of Mistweaver for each one. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. I'm going to start off with PvE because I have been a little bit out of the loop for PvE, but I watched some really good PvE streamers, Automatic Jack, Matt Skills, and Megaset, fantastic healing streamers and content creators. So go watch them if you primarily do PvE. As far as Mythic Plus goes, from what I have gathered and what I've tried is Mistweaver is pretty mid-tier in Mythic Plus. They are an excellent pug healer though. So if you plan on pugging Mythic Plus dungeons, I think Mistweaver is a great option because they have a lot of tools to recover and bounce back when, I don't know, someone gets hit by a mechanic or something like that. Revival is really good. Life Cocoon is actually decent and you just have raw healing HPS. So I would say if you plan on pugging, Mistweaver is a really solid healer. I don't think you'll see many Mistweavers if you're planning on like pushing much higher, like to the higher end of Keystones. The lack of like damage reductions are kind of annoying and you don't have that much utility, which is kind of frustrating. No freedoms, bops, bubbles, anything damage reduction, nothing like that. We just have raw healing. So I don't think you'll see many Mistweavers at the higher end, but if you're just pugging and you're just middle to like higher range keys, I think Mistweaver is a fine option for Mythic Plus. I've tried to keep up with the raiding. For those of you who don't know, I do raid and I actually enjoy raiding a lot. I, from what I've gathered, it seems that Mistweaver is actually very very good going into the first raid tier, and I've heard that they have dominated the HPS charts. So whether that's good or bad or we're going to get a nerf down the line, I don't know. But as usual, in the large scale healing environments, Mistweaver is normally pretty fairly dominant with tools like Shaylun's Gift that it had a lot, quite a few iterations once it was introduced in Dragonflight. And it still does a really good amount of healing. As far as other builds go, you know, you have your Celestial Conduit from the Hero Talents. And you just have a lot of healing. That's pretty much it. So I, it might depend on what boss fights, you know, favor uh, healers and stuff like that. Obviously, Race the World first guilds do a huge min-maxing. So maybe you don't see them sometimes. But if you're just in an everyday guild or even a mythic guild that is just with friends, I think Mistweaver, again, is a very solid option. Next up is PvP. I will start with Battleground Blitz and RBGs. Again, this bracket is absolutely 110% dominated by Mistweaver healers. I think with the introduction of BG Blitz, I think that Arjured and Prez do have some space in, in the brackets. But for the most part, Mistweaver is going to absolutely dominate both brackets, in my opinion. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. They're also extremely versatile, which is really great. So in on some maps, you're going to be doing some healing, right? Raid healing on like Battle for Ganeas. On other maps like Arathi Basin and Deep Run Gorge, you can actually just ninja cap nodes like with your in cap song of chiji leg sweep you sh you're and, and if somebody does have a trinket and it's only one person even two you could easily get a sweep song and take the node like it's amazing so and then on other maps like war song and twin peaks you're going to be able to fly carry which i never thought i'd be able to say but i am so happy i can so i would say if you just like being a very versatile healer a lot of roles you, there is some pressure on you to peel out because you have the most mobility but if you like that that kind of role and that kind of environment I would highly recommend playing Mistweaver. It is a lot of fun. It is the bracket that I will be spending most of my time in uh, coming into the War Within. And finally, should you play Mistweaver in Arena? It's no question that Mistweaver, hands down, without a doubt, is the worst healer going into the War Within in Arena. Whether Fist Weaving or Mistweaving, it's bad. A few nerfs have brought us back quite a few steps as far as healing goes. Our life cocoon nerf nerfed by 40%. The grapple weapon nerf was absolutely brutal. For some reason, they nerfed the range from 30 yards to 20 yards. So now they want us to be like in melee range. I'm not sure. And then fist weaving just isn't that strong. The higher health pulls kind of struggle, make us struggle quite a bit. So Mistweaver, yeah, is going into, unless unless there's some major nerfs or overhauls, I would say Mistweaver in Arena is very weak, sadly. The issue is that we have so much healing and no utility to go with it. That There are some rounds in Shuffle and Arenas where I'm quite literally doubling the healing of the other healer. But take a look at these damage breakdowns up here. And you'll see that 
I can do as much healing as I want, but the damage just keeps coming, and I have no way to keep my team offensive outside of just healing. That's all I have. I don't have bop. I don't have grounding. No bubble, no iron bark. I have none of this. No pain suppression. I have nothing. And then the other issue is that we do we do have to cast everything straight up. We need to channel our Sunni Mist, and that opens us up to lockouts and getting CC'd really often. So Mistweaver is lacking a lot of tools that other healers have. Damage is really important as a healer, similar to like Mythic Plusing and, and Raiding. D damage is king. It, it just is in shuffle the high the most important thing in shuffle is having your dps have uptime on the other team and doing damage you know creating your quick dispels on dps so they can keep doing damage or if they're on the cooldowns if you're trying to cc damage try to disarm obviously like mark ship hunters on the true shot stuff like that you want to shut down their damage so your team can do more damage same thing in arena it's just tough when you don't have any damage we have healing don't get me wrong we have a ton of healing but we have no damage or utility to go with it, and that will always make Mistweaver a, a worse version of Resto Druid. Resto Druid has the same amount of healing, but they have Cyclone and Iron Bark and Treants, right? So Mistweaver, very weak going into the war within. I'm really hoping we see some changes, some maybe some kind of buff for our or just some kind of damage reduction would be fantastic. But yeah, out if there is no rework, I think that the biggest thing that's holding Mistweaver back in Arena is the fact that Fist Weaving and Mistweaving is in the same tree, similar to how Feral Druid and Guardian Druid used to be in the same tree, right? They used to be the same talent build and then they split them off. That's the issue that we're running into now. I think Blizzard wants to buff Fist Weaving for Mythic Plus because that's a preferred playstyle, but they can't buff Fist Weaving without buffing Fist Weaving and PvP. And then they nerf this weaving in PvP, which nerfs cast and misweaver in PvP. So I think that's the issue. I think that they need to just axe the playstyle fist weaving and make us a caster misweaver, make misweaver a caster again, and then just give us a fist weaving cooldown. Similar to Celestial Conduit. It would actually be really neat. It's too bad they did it. They didn't do something like that where they just stripped misweaver of all the fist weaving and then they just threw it into a hero talent so that you could fist weave if you want. You know where I'm going to be. I literally have 23 monks. I have one monk of almost every single race. I will be playing Mistweaver. I don't even play monk. I play Mistweaver. I am looking forward to the War Within. I cannot wait. I am excited to try literally everything. The hero talents are fantastic. The Mistweaver talents are amazing. The monk talents are, they just feel good. So I am very, very excited about Mistweaver going to the War Within. I'm hoping we see some tweaks. Usually season one gets the most attention going into new expansion. So I'm hoping we see some tweaks and that is it. I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know what main you're planning on playing. If you're playing Mistweaver or if you're rerolling from Mistweaver or if you're playing something completely different, please let me know. I am more than happy to read and comment and share and everything. So that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the new expansion launch and I'll see you later.